I hate to start this on a depressing note for the Simpani, but no. No major war against the Bulgarians until I clean up everyone else's mess. Plus, aren't you a bit already busy? You got almonds to deal with, man. Almonds. Uh. Political favors, political favors. Politics. That's that's all I can really say. Politics. We best as well send a woman to go and secure loyalty. She's coming. What would you have of me? So these guys, I want you to advance to enemy territory, or technically Saxon territory. Ready for order. No, everything's so flat back at home. So I want you, and we're gonna need mount your raiders. There we go. Let's cap for that army. Done. In the meantime, let's upgrade you. Took six turns, but worth it. Um. Do we want a great hall or a chieftain's hall? Great hall or chieftain? Well, great. It's like in the center of our empire now. So it's a pretty cool place. In this place, we need to talk about a few things. As much as I love the idea of this and the smithy and the. Is that the next. Oh, crossbows and armatures! Crossbows and armatures! Down, King. We have to deal with Ready the almonds. Now, it's quite the occurrent fact that they are not exactly dead. As much as I would love them to be. Move out. But now we've opened up our gates to Italia. And it's pretty cool. You get to work. I mean, like, I guess it's cool. You know? On the move, lads. We do get a bonus to ambushing, so we might as well use it. We do have this army. It is a Roman naval army. Kind of worried. But I, got, I think I got enough on my plate. We could move this force back up, but I need them to secure any rebellions. I, I, I need the... The southern flank is just revolved around us raiding. Carfanogo. We should be able to complete minor now, shouldn't we? Hmm. Balanced, well, respected would be our ideal place. But I guess tax for loyalty is not bad. Like if we were to go up there. Yeah, absolutely. And impotent. Yeah. This just wouldn't work out either way. Is there anyone suitable for the office of high judge? We need somebody. Somebody I'll use a lot, surely. Wait. High judge? Wait. Oh. I was too hopeful. Damn my hopes. So, yeah. We still own this settlement. Can't really do much about it. And I can make that raider top. We'd have to squalor, but it would certainly fit our situation. The problem is, we're not really directly at the enemy's doorstep. We're, those lines are going to be taken eventually, so. But we can always convert it back. We have the economy. We have the economy. Those Vikings have just really stayed out there this entire time. Are you getting on my nerves? I, I, I am seriously tempted just to build a free from Segmentum. Just to build it. Roll out there and just uh, kill them. For but alas, gotta be patient. Ready for battle. What else can we hire? We could hire Berserkers. I'm gonna vote for berserkers. Nah, why not? Heavy hounds. <laughs> Heavy what hounds? 
So we still got characters with uh, Yuri Governor right here. Give me more food. And I do You're the guy that uh, shield made him. Jeez. Well, I was a made him until I met him. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the junk. It's done. Raiding these almond armies might not be a bad move. But we don't know the strength of the major Warriors one. All. Which is kind of annoying. Ready for battle. Wait, why would we assassinate one of our allies? You have my Wait, sword. The Skullbreaker still owns some area. The Oi, survivors I'm not gonna hang about tell the day. tales. I've hired a lot of mercenaries, so that is a good sign. But they do have an army running in days. The Dacians are actually very friendly with us. Eastern Roman Empire still holds there in a bit of that and a bit of Libya. Never been in contact with the Saranids, no. Though I don't hear much of them. I've always been a second world power. These guys are actually pretty high in the ranking. Jeez, look at this. We got the uh, seventh. We have the twenty-second. This. Huns, look at the Huns, they're so impotent at the current moment, but I guess when Attila shows up, they're going to be like, Whoa, thousands of Huns going in one direction. Bill? Yeah? Why did they only sign two speed when they got this pass? Don't know. Pex, uh, I, I, I don't know what they've been doing. Like, they haven't been waging war against the Macaroons. Now the macaroons have cut me off from my Saxon allies, which is quite bothersome. We still control the province of Anglaris, but the Anglos still have lands down south, which is quite bothersome as well. The enemy horde is there, so we can take them in a head-on battle. Looks like you're gonna wipe out the Sampani folks. They have a range to go all the way up there. Jeez. Well, nonetheless. Run! That was Destination reached. Now that army is trapped. The Sampani are just really raiding. I want them to take back their settlements. I really do. Before you ask, wow, King, you're awfully generous. Nah, they're my allies. I'll keep them strong enough so they can repel most threats. And when a time comes, I expect them to become my tributary state, and I demand Celtic legionaries with guerrilla deployment. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Just legionaries armed with guerrilla deployment? <laughs> Just deploy anywhere on a map, and it's like... Wait, 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 where's the elephants? They're behind us! Ah, still though. This position is not good for us in any way, shape, or form. All I need of Anglis is to advance up north so we can take out the Geats settlement there. Then the Geats will be reduced to a roaming people. The Hungarians have moved a massive army down here. And they're rallying up another one, so we might need to retreat to Barca. Barca and Fortify. That's where we can move. Force them to head to Emira Augustus. I don't know what the hell a Spaniard is doing. I haven't seen any of their armies in ages. I know they have them. I certainly do. But I haven't seen them. And here's Africa laying siege. Cocky. Same place. Here's a Spaniard. Looks like they're gearing up for war. Huh. Spaniard gearing up for war. I know, I'm not very long. And you guys can't hear me. Italia was destroyed. Right. Mercenary commander passing through seeks an audience. He offers us a sword. Or two. Okay. You're still unloyal, so I even get the High King to come and secure your loyalty. Hmm. Ask for discount. Might as well. Like I know it's a bit, uh, bo a bit I'm. Uh, a bit rude of us to ask, but in all seriousness, we should try and barter him down a bit. I don't know how loyal he is, I don't necessarily like the idea of a mercenary leading my army, but it's better than no one. Hmm. Well, 
Well, we're gonna have to march down here anyway. It's a very weak army there manning the position. Your next command? We want to convert this place. We want this. And then we want that. Then that. Then that. This place is actually now pretty damn valuable when you think about it. The almonds. Critical I have the power. He's a very powerful man. I would not like to mess with him. So the Hispanics are now besieging us. Or the Africans are now besieging us. Huh? They shouldn't have equipment ready that quick. So we got a bit of time. We don't have money though. Ready for orders. Now here comes the fun part. Thirsty for battle. You remember the army you defeated before, you that. right? Ready for battle. Warriors. Oh, you think he can get away? Move out. That's actually an even better position for him. Get moving. We're to say attack. Eat none alive. Oh boy. They're bloody. They don't necessarily. Are you idiot? Ready oh, stuck for the order. Oh, never mind. Straight for the neck. Good XP though. Move out. I'm gonna have his army garrison here. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. There's no point in raiding with a weakened army. Getting on our way. I say that and I begin raiding. Warriors all. Thank you, General. <laughs> Questionable at best, King. Questionable Warriors at all. best. Well, if you're not in range to raid, just take a step back. Get a few Move guys. Out. Double replenishment rate. Ah, still, now we got. We have to do something about here. If we don't act fast, then the settlement might as well fall to them. What's it like if we force march? We would land straight in the enemy's back. Huh. We do have a lot of common tests. Hopefully, the picks arrive. All. We do have that place to worry about. We might as well retreat for the winter. You know? Defending our position. Oh, poor West Rome. Back again? Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. West Rome? Where, what? Saying they own all this, but that land belongs to Dacia. Come on. Oh well. Hmm. The macaroons are still gearing up for war. Ready for orders. But the reinforcement. But the reinforcement the army tribe. should be able to arrive this time. Ready for orders. I'll just order them to fortify their position there. And the reinforcement army can arrive. Set safe. up a watch. I want you to recruit Seed for Handy. Why not more puppies? We need good fighters. They, they, they will be dangerous. Looks like they got a large army here. Yes. What's their final post looks like? Nothing else. So we got a hero and a large navy. Lots of Saxons, so. Give me an ally, is that for sure? Is there anywhere that I'm exempting from tax? No? Oh well. One more turn. And if nothing interesting happens in that, then 
I'll probably just end the episode after I do more stuff there. Well, there is this shenanigan going on. Ready here. for battle. I want to get close enough so I can use the move, so lads. I can run in reinforcements. Hopefully the picks come down and help me out. Ah. Back. Cowardly. Should have expected nonetheless from them. Gathering Thankfully supplies. The Western world in full mind is not much. If the almonds want to take back medieval. We're gonna have to go through hell. Yeah, we'd have to assault it in one turn, which is actually not true because I didn't inherit it quickly. But they are gonna weaken it. The third army is currently stationed somewhere else, so the Saxons are nearby. If they were to force march around. Geats, from my history, they are a pretty good rating, rated concept. Noble. Looks like they're gonna try and take Amir Augustus again. Last time that didn't work out for him. Don't know why. <laughs> Roman legionaries, man. Roman legionaries. Like on the field, those armies are tough nuts to crack. Like I've seen in multiplayer as well. The Romans aren't used, it's more the barbarian faction, especially in noble cavalry. Like those guys. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Like the Germans weren't named for their cavalry. You know? But whoever rocks the boat, that's it, I guess. So now we got a siege going on in Barca. We're not going to assault. I don't know the Hungarians would So obviously we're gonna have to quit our raiding and stream reinforcements up to Barca immediately. Which wouldn't be that hard. We could hire mercenaries along the way. Pay them in one turn, let them die in the next. Shall we? Oh. Simple as that. If you're wondering, oh king, why do you have so many allies? Doesn't it bother you that you don't own all the land? No, it doesn't. Actually, it's better because now I have more armies at my disposal. As expected. Well, I'll see you on the battlefield. As, uh, Seen it coming. But I guess that's what the game is. There is this this place is not dire. Very bad. Be on guard! So pretty much. The idea is to pull them here. As long as we can. We will hold them. Reinforcements arrive! As soon as they walk on, they're like, okay, man, to the settlement. We have sighted the enemy. They'll be entering through this gate. They'll be pretty tired. But mind you, we do get more cavalry to bring. Ready! Raiders, advance! Sending 
them Battle. support. Don't get me wrong, I am sending them a lot of support. As much as I can muster and spare. I need the rest of them. Concealed units. So the Roman main assault still going on. I think this is so these Roman ripoffs. When this man drops, you lose his whole If only they knew I wasn't going to fight them right now. Yeah. This is actually quite a typical tactic. So my men get an elevated position to shoot. Make sure that we get as many as possible. See, like the German horse would do. They, they just. The hunger for blood and battle! Desert Raiders. Sorry about that. Anyway, if the Romans do notice that, we're dead. <laughs> ah, they have. On the bright side, though, you got a nice kill. They're like, nope. <laughs> so, cavalry, continue raiding ops. We want to weaken the Romans to such an extent that now, because they've wasted them, we now stand in much better chance. Many of the barriers still stand firm, ready for battle. Exactly, dangerous to the individual counting for it. 
But when master plays, it's a good feeling. This is actually what this one is. Send one unit into the game. That happened. Some friendly fire. Spearmen ready for battle! The enemy have rallied their units! So here comes the A Russian moment of it. Our skirmisher cavalry will be here momentarily. to the bombs. Wasting a lot of javelins on the sure. Find as many as you can. We have a clear run in place while well, again is upset. Because the Romans will obviously be trying to do something. Like it does expose our flanks, but it's essentially what it's a killing. Let's see if it's a chance to fall. Our archers will be getting some rest. Missile! Armed warriors! Train longbowmen can fire a hell of a lot more shells. Just, it's just longbows are harder to use, plus the bow or the short bow is easier. It's just easier to use, plus the longbowmen to use. And this was an epic train. I could, I could effectively fire a longbow, but I would probably miss nine times out of ten. Our skirmish cavalry is still saying that. Just chilling out. The enemy has swamped from the initial defense lines. Archers from above will Can't necessarily blame him. Like this formation here is death trap. I wouldn't exactly imagine anyone in that person being it. We do have the numbers advantage.
Ah, sorry about that. That was about three hours, but to you, it was only a second. Take into all the factors. Show them the numbers, facts are tired, exhausted. No less, it was necessary to best us. These guys aren't out of arrows either. Essentially, a standstill. So, yes. Harry didn't shot them. Oh, God. 
less. There's a regiment in there. Actually, hold on. Caledonian heavy warriors line up on that position. Use fine gentlemen to keep position outside. All artillery just be aware. If you're one of these archers, right? It's easy. You kill. You just shoot. You shoot with arms. Let me get one of the target to shoot. The general that holds him together. Find his men and kill them. Send forth a unit of Caledonian veterans to be cloaked. They may not be as heavily armored, but they still do so. I could try breaking from the barricade, but that won't work. If it was a player, they would have probably assaulted him this way. But then I could just hold him up here. But then again, that's not necessarily a bad thing for the Romans. Because think about it, they're heavily armored, and look how many archer ports I have. It would really be here that I could get the most kills. But when we go up here, it's really lessened. Yeah. And normally players would. We've never seen Caledonians in this situation because they're terrible. They hardly got any armor units. Still confident. They're still eager. Well, I've probably seen one there that I don't so enthusiastic. But because they still have their general. Use the ladders. Advance and 
speed. Jeez, how, why can these guys never use ladders? Oh, I don't like we can do that. Let's see. I generally do not like stealth games, but I always want to play Metal Gear Solid. Missile Riders! Just we go. Riders! Forward! Oh, my mounted spear raiders are here, so I can see. They've done a decent amount of work. Got some kills under their belts. Not that the Warband do. Warband did alright. These guys. More killing to be had. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Wor don't worry about the war man. They quickly begin. The gates are ours! Yeah. Huh. Nope. Could have went up this way. Straight into the south. can now get back on their ponies. Our horses can get in, I mean. Uh, it's, it's far less intimidating than in cavalry. Right? I don't feel this heavy shot is doing enough damage to these ones. and break a little bit quicker. Very tired, but they're under the weather. I'm sure you could break down your phone there. We'll kill them all! Yes, we can. Missiles ready! I wish they would. for battle! 
Waste the javelins. I don't know, we gotta get perfect. Basically, if we don't bring them in this cavern, so then we by King's Tragedy. Some Romans back on to engage. They, they, they ain't exactly just give up and die. They got lives as well. I guess I can make sure I've kept them in an effective manner without losing that many people. We will pierce their hearts. The general oh, has that, fallen. That's the, that's the victory grows ever nearer. That, that should be. 
expected. I never expected an attack. We have done with the enemy. But I never expected that we would have such a big gap in the defense. Victory. But my new this is your day. Easily just put our troops up there. A decisive victory. There we go. That's that's something. That's something. Spearman actually didn't score any kills. Jeez, that's sad. One one guy, not even one guy killed. Not even the general got one kill. Jeez. <laughs> so yes, there are remnants of this army. There's actually quite a lot of them. Garrison. We can't retreat back to the sea, not yet, anyway. Yeah. Up the Sampani are clearing out some of the Italian province. The Wunderba. The Western Roman separatists are still going around. Uh, they're not at war with Rome. <laughs> it, it may sound like it, but they're not. Rebellion. I know that's going to be handy, so I'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and we will be, well, just really repairing Aquatus. It is awfully annoying to find one of your cities in ruins, especially when people who think they are civilized run in and decide they're going to conquer it, even though they're miles away.